Rowan, John, you're a reporter. How do you use social media in your daily routine? How does it factor into what you guys do? Well, essentially, uh, from my perspective, I use uh, TweetDeck mostly, which is a, a desktop interface, a column-based desktop interface, which gives me everyone that I'm following, all the trending topics, uh, anyone that mentions me uh, it, or, or my handle, uh, and also other categories which I follow, uh, different hashtags or different keywords. Mm -hmm. So essentially, it's, it's essentially only real-time uh, social media monitoring for the entire planet. Uh, whether it's you know, with the, the geotags, you, you can even do it by region, you can do it by topic. So essentially, it really helps me kind of get oriented first thing in the morning in terms of what, what people are talking about, what are the trending topics for the day. Um, number one, it's a great way to uh, interact with, with people who, who are working in the industry, uh, whether it's people who are authorized to speak for their companies or not. Uh, you know, there's a huge amount of, of different types of people that are directly involved with aviation in some sort online. Uh, and ultimately throughout my day, uh, normal day, I'll use it to kind of you know, get monitor stories, distribute uh, stories that I think are interesting. But at an, at an event like this, well, the way I use it is that if I'm walking around a show and you, you, you kind of point out interesting things that you, you would observe, you, you see, you, know, you see something funny, you see something interesting, it, there's really a huge range. But ultimately the way I, I view it is you kind of turn your notebook inside out. So essentially rather than just writing it down on, you know, for a story later, you, you give kind of a play-by-play -play for your perspective on what you see, ultimately for the people who aren't walking around with you or right there at the show with you. Do you go back later and look at what you tweet over the course of the day? Or oh, absolutely, yeah. And then yeah. write a story based on that? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pictures that I, that I take, essentially it, it, it can be something as simple as, you know, you know, take a little snapshot, use it later in a story, you know, a little anecdote, a little quote that I, you know, things you to share, and you kind of put it in context later. Uh, again, it, it's just about kind of leveraging all these all these different little tools uh, around to ultimately well, use Twitter as a, as a means of delivery. So essentially, I think what we're all talking about here are different means of delivering content, mm. and Twitter is just one way amongst many to integrate that content together. So if I take a picture on my phone, I can upload it to Flickr, share it on Twitter, uh, and, and get a lot of don't use a lot of vowels in this. <laughs> So uh, again, it's about, it's about sharing and making sure that that all these different platforms are integrated together because mm -hmm. uh, they're not standalone. Uh, I think that that's kind of the, the most important most important thing. When you look at, there is no silver bullet. It is a it's a comprehensive approach to, to developing a, a social media strategy, essentially, or just existing in this environment. Great. Josh, you're in sales. How do you use social networks, social media, day in and day out? We, at our company, we decided to start using it because we found, I mean, I definitely integrate it and make it part of a complete marketing plan and marketing, well, marketing plan. We use print media, we use emails, we use blog, we use our website, we use LinkedIn to, and, and I sell airplanes, we're an aircraft broker, and what we want to do is drive people to the aircraft, our clients' aircraft listings and those airplanes we're selling. And, potentially communicate with new prospective clients. And so we started to use it as another way to interact with our clients around the world, other brokers and dealers around the world, to bring people to our airplane listings and help hopefully elevate those listings above the fray. Um, it's, a particular, it's been a particularly tough time, and our, our, our aircraft market's been pretty saturated uh, with very high supply. And some people can say that all airplanes are cheap, and Buyers could say, I'm going to go out and buy them, and I'm just going to buy the least expensive one. But, but helping tell a story and, a value pro and creating the value proposition for a specific listing, and in particular the ones we're representing, was, is critical to us in helping successfully sell our clients' airplanes. So I use LinkedIn, and, and every day I'll go on, and it takes me about 15 seconds to post a quick 140 characters, which when I put it on my LinkedIn, homepage, it automatically puts it on our Twitter page, but it allows me to put a link to the airplane that I'm discussing, I put a couple of quick notes and bullet points about it, and get regular traffic that, that then goes from either the link on LinkedIn or Twitter back to our website and back to our listings. And on my website then, I can tell the story and create that value proposition, give all the details and the bullet points and specifics I want to, to help tell the story about that listing and help it stand above the frame. Um, I use our blog page, and we do, both to bring people to us as a company to tell them about 
really more to build, have an interaction with our clients and potential clients so that they see sort of value add and, and some of the discussions we speak about are trends we see in the industry. I've written articles about different airplanes we're selling. Uh, in one case, I've got an, we have an airplane we're representing that the, they are shutting down the flight department. They have their own 135 certificate. They've got a great crew and we're, we're motivated to sell the airplane, but in an ideal world, I'll find a buyer who will buy the airplane, who will want to maintain the charter certificate, who will want to hire this crew. And so I went on and I wrote a blog post about this really unique and interesting great opportunity. And I was telling these guys at the beginning of this that one of the really interesting responses I got were several phone calls from people who I did not know were following the blog uh, asking about buying just that charter certificate. And it was, it was, I just found it really interesting to see who was responding, who was watching, who was reading it. Uh, so many different ways, but the purpose for our firm is to help us establish, continue to establish our brand and credibility by providing good information and bring people back to our craft listings to help tell the story we want to tell about. So that's how we use it.